Good morning, good afternoon, happy spicy Saturday. I pray that you are having a wonderful day thus far. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Jetty Taylor Robinson. I am health coach, founder, and steward of this ministry's Taylor's Holistic Approach Ministries, a ministry that's focused on gut health, the Word of God, and you. Today is Spicy Saturday here on Our Daily Dose. So welcome, glad you could make it. Hello, Miss Emma, great to see you. Hello, Miss D, good morning, good morning. Uh, today we are, the spice for the, of the week for today is licorice, licorice root. So if you've ever tried licorice root, uh, if you know anything about it, um, chime in. Uh, in the comments and let me know. So we're going to say a word of prayer and then we are going to get started learning more about this uh, awesome, awesome spice, licorice. Gracious Father, we come to you thanking you, oh God, for another day. Allowing us, oh God, to get rest last night, those of us who rested and those of us who worked. We are just grateful, oh God, to see another day. We thank you, O oh God, for each other, O oh God, as we share uh, what you have placed on our hearts. And we ask you to open up our minds and hearts to receive what you have and to really look into um, the herbs and the spices that you provided because they were made specifically for us. And we're, you, we're a unique being. And we thank you, O oh God, that we are wonderfully made. And because you get the credit, O oh God, and you get the glory for everything that we are. So we ask you, O oh God, to help us to even just want and have that desire to do better, to live better, to eat better to think better, to praise and worship better, just to be better, oh God, because we know that when people see us living well, when people see us doing well, they will glorify you, oh God, our Father in heaven, and then they will be made all the better. We ask you to bless everyone on Facebook, on YouTube, uh, and uh, Instagram, and anywhere else that they may view this. We just thank you, and we ask you to bless them abundantly. In Jesus' name, we pray and give thanks. Amen. Amen. Okay, so today's spice is licorice. Uh, I like black licorice jelly beans. Okay, okay, yeah. You know, and, and up until like, you know, I started doing the reading and, and research for licorice, you know, I thought the same thing. And so I thought, okay, it's a spice. And some people, you know, just like herbs and spices, it just depends on how you're using it. Uh, there could be one in the same. Uh, the root could be, you know, the spice and then the leaves or the, you know, foliage could be the herb part of it. And so, and some people just, you know, naturally call it either or. They interchange the names. But we're using it, we're talking about a spice today. Good morning, Sharita. Happy, happy spicy Saturday. Yeah, me too, Miss D. And then you're going to be even more shocked when we start going over the benefits. So I found this great article. And so I'm just going to just pull out some highlights from the article about our spice of the week, licorice. So licorice is, I always start out with where it's from. So it's native of Southeastern Europe and also the Middle East. And where it just, they said it grows wild in the Middle East. It gets its name from two Greek words, which I am not going to try to pronounce, but I'll just let you know that the meaning of the Greek words means sweet root. Okay, so that's how it gets its name. Um, it is, is a, uh, the actual plant is a sweet tasting um, underground, like the, the, the part that's under the ground, the stems and the roots are where we get our flavoring from. And it's known, uh, it's mentioned in the uh, Hippocratic um, text. You know, we talked about Hippocrates. So it was mentioned in some of his writings, I'm assuming. And then the Romans also used licorice, ex, um, licorice extract. So uh, ancient Chinese herbalists, they used it, they prescribed it to, you know, uh, their customers for different uh, medicinal purposes. So the dried root looks like 
uh, if you actually see uh, a licorice root. I put a picture of it on my storyline today and it just looks like this flower with a green leaf. It's a beautiful plant, but the benefits come from um, the root. We're talking about the root of that plant. And so it looks like uh, dried pieces of wood. It's very hard, very fibrous, um, and it has like this brown skin and the inside of it is yellow. It's available, you know, dried or woody pieces. Like, you know, you can get like, I guess, um, licorice uh, root pieces, stems and pieces, like I'm assuming. And then you can also get it like in a powder form or like in the sticks, you know, like cinnamon sticks, you know, you can get like the, um, the licorice sticks. And it doesn't look like, uh, the liquor stick that we <laughs> that we talked about that Miss D and I'm sure that you said you like. Um, it is, uh, but it does say that it's solid sticks of concentrate essence, which are glossy, black, sweet, and partially soluble in water. So it's soluble partially uh, in water. And so uh, once it dries up, I guess, I don't know how it gets, I don't know how it goes from woody to uh, solid sticks with the, um, that looks like, you know, black and glossy. Good morning, Miss Danielle. Happy Spicy Saturday to you too. Uh, we're talking about the spice licorice. So um, it says it, it's, the, uh, the taste is sweet and it's similar. We talked about a few uh, Saturdays ago, we talked about star anise as a spice. And so they said that this is similar to anise, uh, but it's slightly a little bit bitter. Uh, it's sweet, but then like with a slightly bitter aftertaste. Um, and it says when it's chewed, it seems like it's, it gets sweeter and sweeter uh, the longer you chew it. So uh, as far as like storing uh, licorice root, it's, uh, it's, it can be, uh, should be kept very dry. And it's and they said it stores indefinitely. So if you dry out the root and you store it in airtight containers, you can just keep it for. They just said indefinitely. So I don't know if it doesn't go bad, doesn't go rancid. But just keep in mind that you know um, if you find yourself. We talked about how uh, a few weeks ago how long to keep spices and how long to keep. You know, it depends on. Um, the, the chef life and the flavor and the longer you keep them, they lose some of that, that flavor. Uh, so I don't know if this uh, is, you know, not the case with licorice uh, root, but just keep that in mind. Uh, so they use it mostly in, in uh, you know, for culinary purposes. And, uh, and there are some other, like, I'm sure there's like teas. I've seen it in teas as an ingredient. Um, so the, and so we talked about, Miss D mentioned that, you know, she liked the, uh, the black licorice candy. And so they said that actually only about 2% of natural, uh, licorice, uh, extract is in the candy. Uh, it's mostly either a synthetic flavoring or it comes from anise. Since we say, you know, they said that anise, anise is a similar flavor. Okay. So, um, so only 2% of the black licorice candy is actually in, it's a, a licorice, uh, extract. Uh, it says that 90% of all natural licorice is used in as flavoring, but in things that we wouldn't think of in tobacco, like cigarettes, cigars, uh, pipe tobacco, uh, mostly, uh, are a, has that licorice, uh, and if you're a person who uh, used to smoke or still do smoke, um, or even I'm thinking even like the smell of it, because I know my dad early on uh, used to smoke like cigars. And so now that I think back and think about the, the smell, um, I could see where they would add, you know, uh, I could smell the licorice in it. So um, let's see what else. Let's go to the benefits. So we've talked about where it came from. We talked about uses. So let's talk about some of the benefits. Um, it helps uh, to, uh, if you don't like black licorice. You know, Miss um, Sharita, I found out that like it depends on the maker. Because when I rarely eat candy now, but when I was a big 
um, junk food junkie <laughs> and I liked candy. There were certain, and I can't remember who it was, what company it was, what brand it was, but there were certain ones that, you know, had a better flavor than others. So it's, it's definitely an acquired taste. You either like it or don't like it, but I found for myself, it just depends on, you know, the ingredients and who makes it. So licorice helps cleanse the colon. Uh, it supports lung health and promotes the adrenal gland function. Licorice is a common ingredient in, in uh, throat soothing herbal supplements. Its natural sweetness makes it a favorite flavor for herbal teas and many food products. So um, I have, like I said, is one of the teas that I had. Um, I can't remember if it was... Um, can't remember what she was because I remember sending some to my sister Phyllis and she's like oh licorice you know and then she mentioned the candy also because that's the only thing we ever think of you know licorice is just candy and never knew that it was a spice and that it's you know and these multiple uses so um, herbal preparation contains um, licorice root as used to treat stomach and intestinal ulcers and also lowers acid levels and coats the stomach walls with a protective gel. It's rarely used alone because it's commonly uh, used with other like herbal teas or mild laxatives. Uh, it's a diuretic and it's a flatulence. So it helps with, um, helps with urine, urination flow and it helps with flatulence. Uh, it's been known to relieve uh, rheumatism and arthritis and regulate low blood sugar. It also uh, has effect, can be effective on Addison's disease. So uh, the root extract produces a mild estrogenic effect and has been proven to be useful in treating symptoms of menopause, uh, regulating menstruation, and relieving menstrual cramps. Like, who knew all of these benefits? And we just thought it was black licorice or red licorice or thin. just thought it was candy. It was a treat. So um, it's also been used, uh, known to be used for night sweats. So um, heartburn, stomach ulcers. Um, and so it's awesome. There's like a great, great amount of benefits. And so... Um, Let's just take, you know, we take a great uh, closer look at using licorice, licorice root. Um, you can find it, like I said, in teas. It's not just in candy like we thought. Uh, and they use it, you know, in some sweets or whatever. But, you know, look for licorice root in a tea. And I'm sure there's uh, probably a supplement. And so you get all of these amazing, wonderful benefits of licorice root. So now, like any other thing, they said there are some side effects. So there is a compound in licorice that is considered harmful. Uh, it could cause greater sensitivity on the body's part to a hormone of the kidney. So uh, it could cause headaches, fatigue, leg swelling, and all of these symptoms is just like overusage. So, you know, we... I think it's it's less likely that anybody would come up with some of these unless you're super sensitive because like they said before most of the time uh, licorice root it's an extract which is means just like a portion or you know it's blended in with another some other ingredients so normally it's part of a tea is you know so um, but just wanted to give you, you know, for uh, just, you know, to let you know, give you all of the information just in case, because um, some people are just super sensitive and maybe this may not be uh, the spice for you or the, the root for you. So people experience headache, fatigue, leg swelling, heart attacks, high blood pressure. Uh, people suffering from heart, liver, and diabetes or hormone sensitivities disease could uh, could should not take licorice and so like I said, this is probably in supplement form where you're getting that concentrated amount um, in this capsule because uh, most times as far as taking supplements you get a more concentrated part of either if it's a spice or if it's an herb uh, You you're getting more of it rather than you're just having it in teas or eating it like that. So um, oh so uh, 
Hello, Miss Di. She said she loves black licorice tea. I've never had it, so I'm going to have to put that in my tea arsenal, especially now that I know all the benefits. And so, um, just, you know, some quick, like, little um, notes, little, uh, mm -hmm, uh, I don't know what to call it, but some names that, that they uh, call, it's known by, is black sugar, licorice root, of course, licorice, uh, sweet root and sweet wood. So those are some of the names that, so if you hear someone reference any of these names, then you know they're talking about liquor shirt. So that is it for Spicy Saturday, this wonderful, wonderful um, root. So you can go out and, you know, you can use it for baking. Now you know, you know, you can look up some recipes that use licorice root or licorice root extract. Uh, you can go uh, do look for black licorice tea, or you can look for other teas that have like the licorice also in there. Um, it is a, a tea blend that has it in there. So that is it for Spicy Saturday. I hope you learned something. I hope it was beneficial. Hello, Mr. Tansel. We were just talking about licorice root. Uh, and so if anybody have ever used licorice root and just besides thinking it was just candy, <laughs> then uh, put it in the comment. Let us know. Let us know how you use it. If you use it in, uh, if you were baking and you used it or if you, like Miss Dye, use it in tea, uh, as a tea, or um, I'm trying to remember the name of the tea, ashwagandha. I think the ashwagandha tea and the ingredients also has a licorice root in there. So if you ever have tea blends, then just look at, you know, the ingredients. Speaking of that, the, yesterday I went to the store and I wanted to get, you know, some bread for the weekend. Hey, Miss Nina. Exactly. Thought it was just candy. Um, but this is like, you know, I always say, uh, you're most welcome, Miss, Miss Di. I always say, you know, the proof is in the, pen, the print and always read, you know, when you're, when you're purchasing something. So, uh, I just want to tell you a quick story before we sign up. I went to the store and I was like, okay, I want a loaf of bread and then some, um, some bagels. Because most of the time, you know, I do bagels or either oatmeal for breakfast when I'm working. So I picked up this store brand and I, uh, I was like, okay, you know, it's cheaper. Let me, you know, get this. And because uh, that spurs a little bit on the uh, bread. So I just, for, for some reason, something captured my eye in this little square and it said warning. And, uh, and I took a picture of it and I can't remember the exact words, but it was saying that um, it wasn't in the product, but it, I don't know if the product had been around some kind of chemicals or whatever. I'm going to post it, but it says, you know, in the state of California, known to cause, you know, cancer and I think maybe birth defects, some craziness like that. And like they had to put it on there. So then I picked up like, like OK, well, let me put this back on the shelf. <laughs> let me pick up something else and let me see, you know, if it had it in it because it says it's a law in California that if it in, it contains or been exposed to any kind of harmful chemicals or substances, you have to let the people know. And, you know, and they don't mind because people don't read. We don't read. We don't have a habit of reading, but that just caught my eye. So be extra careful when you're not buying something that's, you know, organic in nature. Uh, and, you know, and just learn to just read the ingredients and learn to look at the outside, look at the labels to see if there's any warnings. And even in uh, with beauty products, I've gone to, um, I think, uh, what was that? I think the Dollar Tree. I used to get like lotion. I love this lotion, the scent of this lotion they had. And, um, and then also I've seen the same uh, thing in Walmart where on the shelf they have a strip. And the strip is, is, is facing you and it has these little words warning and it has similar things saying, you know, in the state of California, you know, there may be, um, this may have been exposed to some kind of chemicals that, you know, um, has been known to cause cancer or, you know, kidney disease or, you know, she, so you find out a lot about these, you know, about, um, 
products when you just, you know, take the time to glance and to find out this information. So that is my tidbit for you today. If you're going out, especially at Saturday, so we usually go, you know, to the store and go to your shopping and stuff, but just, you know, um, be informed believers. That's so what I came up with the other day when we were talking about, um, we talk about Christians and yoga. Just, you know, God just wants us to be informed believers so that we won't get caught up and we don't get caught up in the, in the tricks and the snares of the enemy uh, to take us down and take us out. You know, people are walking around limping and missing limbs and, you know, and just miserable because of the things that we are intaking, whether it's uh, physical food, whether it's in the air. And so we must do everything possible to keep our immune system built up and to do all the right things so that we can stay healthy and thrive and do the work of the Lord. All right, so that is any, if anybody doesn't, if you don't have anything else, then we're going to sign off for today. Tomorrow is Sunday, is a worship and rest Sunday. And what we, I just mentioned, uh, we're going to do one more Sunday on Christians and yoga. We had um, some great conversations these last couple of weeks, and I just believe that the Lord placed this on my heart and on my mind uh, just because the simple fact of to be informed. Um, because, you know, if you don't know, you don't know. But if you know, now that brings on a certain responsibility and so, and we, and accountability. So we want to be um, informed believers so that God will get the glory and anything for Satan. As he said in his, in the, uh, in his word, uh, as when they were talking about taxes, he says, render to Caesar what is Caesar's and render to God what is God's. So we want to always do that. Okay, so Sharita says, um, she had developed a tumor on her toe and had to get it amputated. Okay. And so that's relating to uh, what? And I never knew that. A tumor. Okay. So, um, yeah, so we just, you know, we must always just be careful um, be mindful of what, and now that, you know, people are getting the vaccine um, and they may be freer, they think, you know, they're safe, but they say you can still catch it, you can still carry it. So just, you know, be careful until prayerfully this thing is going on, going away. Um, I don't know when, but we just always, always must do our due diligence. All right, so love, peace, and happiness. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your support. Keep uh, Taylor's Holistic Approach Ministries in your prayers, and I will keep you in mind until we meet again uh, on tomorrow if you want to join. Um, okay, got it, got it. If you want to join us, we're going to do Facebook chat room, and it's because I'm doing it because it seems like it's easier for people to join in and then more people are exposed. So anybody on Facebook, if you want to join in, just let me know, send me a message. And we wanna talk about um, Christians and yoga. Uh, whether you do yoga and you're not, and if you do, if you are someone who does yoga and you wanna come and you wanna chime in and you wanna tell us, you know, why you do it and, you know, and give us your spiel on it, we would be, you know, there's always two sides. Um, and everybody deserves to be heard. So we will be very, very uh, interested in uh, your take on yoga. The lady that joined us on um, last Sunday, she was like, you know, her daughter had got certified and, and she was like, I've done it before and I'm thinking about, you know, getting back into it. And so we had this conversation to give her some more information. So until then, you have a wonderful, wonderful Saturday. God bless and keep you and your family. And uh, I pray that you have a wonderful worship experience tomorrow. And we'll meet, oh, I forgot the time. The time will be 3 o'clock Pacific time, 4 Mountain, 5 Central, and 6 Eastern time. So on here on the, the um, West Coast, it will be, it start at 3 o'clock. All right. Love you. Take care. Bye-bye.